On the 23rd of June 2016, Britain voted to leave the European Union. As such, we're celebrating the best of European culture by doing a Eurovision show. Celebrating Europe's rich history, such as when Mussolini made the trains run on time. European culture, such as this, a canal, which makes us officially a third of Venice. Australia's in Eurovision now, and Australia is basically Europe's holiday home. And as you can see behind me, there is both a restaurant and a tax haven. Not many people know this, but this is actually Dr John Europe, the inventor of Europe. On his horse here, riding into what would later become Europe, where he wrote his hit song, The Final Countdown. Queen Street, named after Queen of Europe, Conchita Verst, who won Eurovision two Eurovisions ago. And here we are now, one of Europe's finest institutions, the Italian Portuguese border. Nando's is from Portugal. Hey Europe, do you remember this? This wall is falling apart, much like the Greek economy did. And of course, these two celebrated British businesses, which have come from my favourite European country, foreign. This is um, European. If you want to experience a live comedy panel show talking about everything there is to celebrate about Eurovision, and exactly the sort of shit people who go to places like this might hate, for just two of these you can see us. Have a Verbal Discharges Eurovision Referendum as part of Derby Comedy Festival on May 11th with association with Furthest from the Sea and Derby Comedy Festival in Europe.